Hello and welcome back to ESPR Boxing's YouTube channel. Um, flying solo tonight um, just with the final predictions video for Jack Catterall and Josh Taylor rematch. I'm um, just going to get straight into things, um, being on my own. Um, yeah, a huge grudge match. Um, one of the biggest rematch um, fights we've seen on these shores in in a long, long time. Um, I think there's a lot to take from the weigh-in um, is where I'll start first off. Um, a lot of people thought Josh Taylor finished at 140, uh, would struggle to make the weight, um, but I think he looked great. Um, I think he looked fantastic on the scales. Jack Catterall obviously makes the weight fairly easily. Um, he looks quite comfortable um, at the weight. So I think there's, there's not too much to read into with, with Jack Catterall. However, Josh Taylor, I think he surprised a lot of people, including myself. And before I actually get into, obviously, my, my prediction and how I think this fight will finish, um, the, the weight and how Josh Taylor looked was going to be a major factor. We've seen um, on the channel, uh, Joe McNally in an interview stating that uh, Josh Taylor will be staying at £140. You know, there's no major big fights for him at 147. Um, so, you know, uh, Joe McNally himself mentioned the names of sort of Javonta Davis, Shakur Stevenson, um, and then the, the, the big money fights are at lightweight. Going into the fight, I think it's going to be fairly similar to the first fight, but I think we're going to see a much better Josh Taylor. Um, I've toyed with, with with my thoughts on this on many, many occasions. Um, I just think, you know, the, the way we've seen sort of Teofimo Lopez had an off night um, and then come back and was absolutely excellent against Josh Taylor. So I think the way you have to take factor in things, um, had he prepared properly, did he overlook Jack Catterall? I think he may definitely have overlooked Jack Catterall. And I think one major thing for me um, is taking into account how much is each fighter put into this in the build-up. And I think Jack Catterall emotionally and mentally has put a hell of a lot more into this fight um, than Josh Taylor. And I think that will be his undoing. Um I am going to go with a uh, Josh Taylor points victory. Um, I think it will be a unanimous decision. I think, it, well, I'm not necessarily saying it's going to be a clinic from Josh Taylor. I think we're going to see a, a different level um, of, of Josh Taylor from what we've seen in the first fight. I think Jack Catterall, you know, he said himself he's looking to get the stoppage in round seven to nine. He's never been the biggest puncher. So to all of a sudden try and take out someone the calibre of Josh Taylor. Um, sort of in seven, eight rounds is a very, very bold prediction and, and something that I can't really see happening. Um, I think it will be a close fight. I think it's going to be scrappy. I think it's going to be messy. Normally, I think these style fights are quite tentative to begin with, sort of a feeling out process, rounds one, rounds two. But I think there's so much animosity and hatred between these two. I really think it's just going to be from the get-go straight out from the first bell into each other meeting in the middle of the ring um and i really just do feel jack catrall's just gonna put a little bit too much into it in terms of his mental aspects and the emotional aspects in this fight don't want to waffle on too much um but as i say josh taylor unanimous points um sort of i don't think it'll be a landslide sort of a, a 116 114 around that mark um so yeah let me know what you think below in the comments guys do you think josh taylor looks washed at the weight do you think jack carroll is coming into this big he's coming into this strong um he's going to look to possibly go for the stoppage if you can see it if you agree with me if you disagree with me let me know down below in the comments guys keep an eye out on the channel um have a scroll through plenty of fight week content big fight breakdowns weigh-in reactions you name it as I say, let me know in the comments below, guys, and if you agree that Josh Taylor will get a points victory. Cheers, guys.